Hey everyone, and welcome back. So whether you are brand new to cryptocurrency mining and you're looking for an easy setup, or you're already mine cryptocurrency, but you're looking for a different alternative setup for any reason, maybe because of the nice hash hack or any other reason. Today, I'm going to show you a quick and easy setup that's both profitable and extremely easy to use. By the time you guys go and set it up, it's going to take you less than five minutes to get this set up. And like I said, it's a very profitable setup and really easy to use. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so the setup we are going to do today involves the awesome miner software and then also the mining pool hub pool. So when you are mining, it's extremely advantageous to use a pool and mining pool hub is very unique in the fact that they actually have a profit switching uh, algorithm. Essentially, your miner is going to mine the most profitable coin. So whichever coin is the most profitable at that point in time to mine, that is what your machine is going to mine. So this is a little bit different than some other pools where you might just mine one cryptocurrency. In Mining Pool Hub, you're going to mine a bunch of different cryptocurrencies. And then in the end, you can either keep those individual currencies or you can auto exchange them to your favorite currency. Let's say you want to auto exchange them to Bitcoin or to Litecoin so that you get paid out in one currency instead of them all. Or you can leave them in their original state and have them all in the cryptocurrency that you mined. All right, so this setup is super easy, and I'm going to walk you through all the steps that you guys need to do it. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to miningpoolhub.com. A link, of course, is down in the description. So once you get to Mining Pool Hub, you are going to need to create an account. So you'll go over here to the sign up page, and you're going to create yourself an account. Enter in all your information. Pretty simple. So once you have created your account, you're going to be back on this home screen. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on this hub workers section over here, this tab right over here. It's going to take you to a page that looks like this. So you guys can see over here that I have already created a worker. So what Mavace is, that is just my username. So it's going to plug in your username right here, which is whatever you set during the creation. And then this is the name of your worker. So in this section over here, create a worker name, whatever you want to name it. Mine's called AMD rig because my mining rig is a bunch of AMD cards. Whatever you want to name it, it's up to you. It's going to be unique because it already has your uh, username before it. So just create a worker name. In the worker password, this does not matter. Um, the mining software we're going to set up today ignores the password. It doesn't need it. So you can just put an X in there. That's what most people do when they're setting these things up. Just put an X. Now, this next part is a little bit confusing, but you're going to see over here, you're going to select a job and it's going to say account default job. That's fine. And then up here, the account default job is no work. Kind of counterintuitive because you think, okay, this worker now is not going to do anything, but that's why we use the awesome mining software. It uses the profit switching algorithm. So it's going to do all the switching for us. We don't need to tell our worker what to do because our miner is going to take care of that for us. So leaving these defaults is completely fine. That's what I have mine set on. And trust me, it's been working great ever since day one. All right, so now you'll notice I have jumped screens. We are remoted into my mining rig, which is over in my server rack. So what you guys are going to want to do is go to awesomeminer.com, and you're going to download the Awesome Miner software and get it installed. Now, one word of warning is that if you have any sort of security software on your computer, Bitdefender, Windows Defender, whatever it is, a lot of times this mining software is going to throw up red flags. So the way I do this is that I have it on a completely separate computer that is that I can disable those security measures and not have to worry about the computer containing any other sensitive information. I also go an extra step and I actually segment it off to a different part of my network. So it's a completely different subnet from all of my other computers. So these are all just precautions I take. You'll find that with any mining software is that it's going to trip all those triggers in your security software. So do what you have to do, either whitelist them or disable your security software, whatever you need to do to get it running. But also, this is a point in time where if that doesn't sound like something you want to do, you might want to stop and not go any further. But also know that that is something that's going to happen with any mining software, not just Awesome Miner. No matter what it is, whether it's uh, nice hash, any of the other ones, they are all going to throw up that error. So it's up to you. Proceed with caution. So once you have downloaded the Awesome Miner, you're going to get it all installed, and it's going to look a little something like this. Now, I already have, obviously, my miner set up, so I'm going to walk you guys through creating your first miner. And again, this is extremely easy. It might seem daunting at first with a lot of the options, but it's going to be super simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on New Miner. Now, when you first launch Awesome Miner, it might just pop up this for you automatically. You might not have to click Awesome Miner. So we're going to click Next to add a new miner. 
Now, this is the important step here that what we need to do. What we want to do is managed profit minor. So managed profit, not managed minor, but we want to go to managed profit minor. And basically what that is, is it allows it to switch between mining different coins to determine which one is most profitable. So that's what we want to do. Click next, name it whatever you want to name it. And then you need to select your profit switching profile. So if you have AMD cards, obviously choose AMD. If you have NVIDIA graphics cards, choose NVIDIA. So real quick side note, if you guys are looking to mine with your CPU, I kind of discourage that because of the amount of power that the CPU uses compared to the actual payouts that you're going to get from CPU mining are negligible. And sometimes actually you're using more electricity than you're going to make back in cryptocurrency. So I would use the software only for graphic card mining. And really that's it. I would not mess with CPU mining at all. So once you've selected your profit, uh, your your profit switching profile, sorry, click next. And it's gonna look something like this. So this is where you enter your managed profit switching settings. And what we did, you'll see mining pool hub right here, which we just created an account on earlier in this video. So you're gonna check mark this. This is the only one I use. You can definitely use more than one. I leave it to only go to mining pool hub. It just keeps things rather simple. So you're gonna check mark mining pool hub. And what you're gonna enter is your username, period, worker name. So you remember you created that worker name earlier and your username. So for me, my username is Mavace. My worker name is AMD rig. So Mavace.AMDRig. Choose your region, whichever one applies to you and click OK. And that's it. You are done. So at this point, you will come back out here. So at this point, you are going to have your managed profit miner set and you are ready to go. All you need to do is select the one you want, which you will probably only have one at this point and click start. Now, this is where you want to sit and wait and make sure everything launches okay. But after it starts to launch, you'll see it launches a miner here. Looks like it's going okay. And you want to wait till you start to see your average per day show up in this right-hand column over here. So we'll wait just a little bit. And there we go. So you'll see total that per day, it's going to average about $10.58. Now, mind you, I, am, I have four graphics card on this rig. So... I always say like my cards right now, as of the time of making this video, are averaging about $2.50 per day per card. Uh, and I run AMD RX 480s and seem to be a pretty good card from AMD. I'm happy with the, uh, with the total revenue per day, but that's kind of my average. Definitely that number will vary depending on which graphics card you are using. All right, so the final step, of course, is where do all my coins go? How do I get paid out from all of this mining? So this is where we actually want to go back to the Mining Pool Hub website. And you're going to go over to the left-hand side and click on Balances. Now, this is what my balances currently look like because uh, I just cashed out about three days ago. And so what you'll see here is you'll see all the coins that your machine has mined. And what you'll see here is you have three columns. You have Credited, Credited for Auto Exchange, and On Exchange. Now, by default... All, your, all of your coins that you mine are going to stay in their normal currency, so they're not going to be exchanged for anything else. So if you mine Zcash, for example, it's going to stay in Zcash. If you mine Ethereum, it's going to stay in Ethereum. And what you'll see is this credited column start to build up. Now, on the right here are your managed wallet links. So when you click in there, so if you ever want to cash out at any point, let's say I wanted to cash out my Litecoin, I would go in, click manage wallet, and in there is where you enter your address, and how often you want it to pay you out. So if, for example, if you wanted every time you had a tenth of a Litecoin, you wanted it to pay you out, you had set all those settings in there. I'm not gonna go in there because it um, shows some of my information and what I have, but essentially you just go in there, plug in your wallet and get paid out. If you guys need any other tutorials on how to get a wallet, I would definitely, there are plenty of other videos out there on how to get a wallet for whichever currency you're looking for. But the one thing I did want to show you guys is that to make it easy on me, I actually do not have any of these coins come to me in the original form. I exchange them all for Litecoin. So that's why you'll see my Litecoin balance is actually building up and everything else will start to go down as it gets exchanged for Litecoin. So if you go to auto exchange on this left hand side, it's very simple. You select which coin you want to get paid out in. And this is really the benefit of using Mining Pool Hub is that you can choose any coin you want to get paid out in for the most part. Some of them aren't there, but all of the main coins are going to be there and you can have an exchange for it. Litecoin for me, very low transaction fee. So if I need to send that Litecoin between two wallets, very low fee. That's why I kind of chose to mine in Litecoin because I can always exchange it for Bitcoin in one of my exchanges like Bittrex or Polynex or any of those.
So you select which coin, so I select Litecoin. And then over here, these are all gonna be on by default. This is basically saying you have the granular ability to say exchange all of these currencies, do the auto exchange, or some of them, let's say you wanna hold Ethereum. Whenever you mine Ethereum, you actually wanna keep Ethereum, but everything else you want sent to Litecoin. If you did that, you would go over to Ethereum and just turn the active off. That would mean it's not going to auto exchange your Ethereum, it'll just leave it in there for you. So. Like I said, when you go back to balances, that is where you're gonna manage your wallet. You'll go in there and it'll pay you out once you hit a certain threshold, or you can do a manual payout once you have hit the minimum value. So I hope you guys found this extremely useful. Again, awesome miner and mining pool hub, very easy to set up. One little note, you will want to just every once in a while periodically check in on your miner to make sure everything is running smoothly and hasn't quit in a while. And you'll notice that your miner will actually switch between currencies. That was the point of the way we set it up. So you might see it close one miner and open up a new one. That just means that it thinks that mining this other currency is now more profitable than the one it was mining before. So hopefully I didn't lie to you guys. Hopefully you guys can get this set up in less than five minutes. Head over to the website, create the account, plug it into Awesome Miner, hit start, and you're mining. And you're mining with an extremely profitable miner. I've been very happy with the results. For me, it's been better than any other miner I have uh, tried, and I've tried almost all of them. It's, it's impossible to try all of them, but I've tried a lot. And this one has the most options as far as when you get paid out, how often you get paid out, and in what coin you get paid out. And it's just overall extremely easy to use with Awesome Miner. The one-click start and letting it just go by itself is extremely easy. All right, so if you guys like the video, hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button, too. I'm going to start doing some more videos on cryptocurrency. It's a big part of my life right now, and I'm going to hopefully do some more of these tutorial videos to help you guys out. But until I see you guys next time, tech on.